Hey everyone, it's me, Not Vivian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons on your computer to work with Dolphin Emulator. To start things off, you're going to need to sync your Joy-Cons up to your computer via Bluetooth, so if you don't have Bluetooth, this tutorial won't work for you. Open up your start menu and go to your Bluetooth settings. From here, hold down the sync buttons on the railings of the Joy-Cons. After a couple seconds, you'll see green LED lights flash up and down. You should see your Joy-Cons appear in the list of Bluetooth devices. Connect the left Joy-Con first, and then the right. Once this is done, we can open up Dolphin. Go to the controller configurations, and set up configurations for either the GameCube or Wii Remote. I'm going to be doing the GameCube controller for this tutorial. First, we're going to set up both Joy-Cons to work as one controller for single player mode. To do this, make sure you have the left Joy-Con selected. I've already made a preset, but I'll go through the basics of how to set this up. Just like any other controller, you can click on the button you want to map, and press down the button on the Joy-Con that you want to correspond with it. But to set up the right Joy-Con, simply right-click on the button that you want to map, select the right Joy-Con on the list of controllers, hit Detect, and press down the button on the right Joy-Con that you want to map with, hit Select, hit Apply, and hit OK. Do this with every button that you want to map, and then you should be good to go to play. I'm going to launch up Super Smash Bros. Melee to show you how this works. Sadly, the analog sticks on the Joy-Con function more like joysticks on PC, meaning that the computer can't distinguish slightly tilting up from fully tilting up. This can cause problems because it means you can't walk in games like Super Smash Bros. and Mario 64. But I'm sure in the future, when people figure out how to make drivers for the Joy-Cons, this will be fixed. As proof of concept, I'll let you watch the footage. Next, to set up the Joy-Cons for multiplayer use, you do a similar method, but instead make sure you map the buttons so the Joy-Cons function holding them horizontally. And to show that it does work, I'm going to launch Super Smash Bros. Melee up again, and you can see I'm controlling each character using its separate Joy-Con. I find this setup extremely useful since the Joy-Cons are so small, you can put them in a bag and have two controllers ready for multiplayer use anywhere you go. If you like this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. If you experience any problems, drop a comment down below and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. But until then guys, see ya.